Well guys, you finally made it to the very last tutorial in this little series of C beginner programming tutorials. Congratulations, we only have one last topic to go. Now this is actually a topic that I wanted to make sure to cover before I finish this tutorial and this is actually something that confuses a lot of people and I think it's just because they don't really understand it or it isn't taught to them in a very uh, good way. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys a really simple example of the two different ways that you can pass variables into functions. They're called pass by reference or some people call it pass by address and also pass by value and the difference between the two. So since you can pass variables and functions two different ways what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two different functions to demonstrate that. That seems like a logical thing to do. So the first one I'm just going to name pass by value and actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to code these because it's going to be kind of confusing if I try to talk you guys through before um, you actually see what the program does. So for right now just follow along. So pass by value we're going to throw a variable in there called i and we're just going to set it equal to some number and this is going to be like 20 originally we're going to set it equal to 99 and then just return so again all this does is it changes i and that's pretty much it so that's pass by value now the other one is pass by address now in here we're going to make another integer but this is going to be a pointer to i. So what this is going to do is of course whenever we do that we need to dereference it. So that's pretty much going to be the memory address of i and we'll set this equal to I don't know set it equal to something random different than this so we can see which one of these functions did what. And then just like before return. So right now we passed in a variable and then we passed in the memory address of that variable essentially. Alright, so the first thing that we should probably do is prototype these before we learn about you know the differences between them and all that good stuff. Alright, so we got the boring stuff out of the way. Now let's get to the heart of this tutorial and that's this. So there are basically two different ways to use your variables and functions. So the first thing that I actually want to do is make a regular integer variable that we have to use. And of course, we have to name it tuna. If not, our computer is going to crash. And I'm just going to set this equal to 20. So we're going to take this tuna variable, which is equal to 20, and we're going to pass it through these two functions. And we're going to notice um, some kind of weird differences between them. So the first one is pass by value. So pass by value. And of course, this just takes a regular integer, which is tuna. And now let me print out the value of it. So printf. So passing by value. Um, let's show you something like tuna is now percent d. And of course, that is equal to tuna. So I just run this real quick, just to make sure no bugs so far. All right, 20, simple enough. Talk about that later. And probably don't want to copy that. So the next thing I'm going to do is pass by address. And of course, if you look down here, what it does is it takes a pointer, which pretty much means it needs a memory address because this points to a memory address. So we actually need to toss in the memory address of Tuna. All right, that's interesting. and paste that because I'm lazy and passing by address tuna is now percent we're just gonna print out the value of tuna again so we're pretty much right here we set tuna equal to 20 I mean we did this since uh, like tutorial number three and then we use this function printed it out and then use this function and printed it out again so check this out the first function it takes that I and it sets it equal to 99 in the second function, it takes the memory address and sets it equal to 64. But if we look right here, the first function, it looks like it didn't even do anything. I mean, it was 20 to start with, and then it's still 20 after we called this function. 
The second one was the only one that actually changed a variable. So why is that? Well, I'll explain it right now. So, like I said, we can use functions in one of two ways. The first thing we did right here is we pretty much pass by value. And that just means don't actually pass this variable itself. Just get the value that's equal to, which is 20. So essentially what it did is this right here. It passed the value of 20 in. So whenever we ran this function, anything that happened in here, it didn't ever affect the variable. It just affect the value of 20. So he said, I don't know, I, some stupid variable equal to 99. Again, this variable was left untouched. And this is called passing by value. So if you ever want to run some calculation, and this is actually what you're going to do most of the time, but you want to leave the original um, variable as is, you can run a whole bunch of calculations and never mess with this. So that is why even though we ran that function, when we printed it out, it was still equal to 20. Now this next one right here, there are going to be certain times where you actually do want to change this variable. So what we did whenever we pass by address is we pass the memory address in and that actually takes this variable wherever it is in memory and it passes it into here. So now whenever we change it to something else it's actually going to change that variable itself not just like a copy of it. So what we did is we took that tuna variable we passed it in here and we set tuna equal to 64. That's essentially what we did. So now tuna equals 64 after this is said and done. So now whenever we print it out, again, since we hard coded that right into the memory, that's where it says by whenever you pass something, pass a function, it's address, it actually changes that variable. So again, the value just passes a copy of it. And whenever you pass the address, you pass in the variable itself so you can tweak it. So hopefully you guys understand, I know that was a, it's kind of a hard concept to understand at first, but um, once you do it a few times, like anything else, it gets second nature and all these weird symbols like uh, ampersand, memory address, pointers, they're going to become really easy. But for now, thank you guys for watching. That is it. We finally made it. You are now, um, you know, capable of pretty much making any C program. The only thing between what we learned and making a large piece of software is just putting the pieces together. So hopefully you guys have the knowledge to figure that out. If you ever get stuck on anything, then go to my forum, ask me. I actually like to figure that stuff out and I'll like solving problems. So again, one last time, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos. I'm going to be filming Python next, my favorite programming language. So, uh, well, hopefully I'll see you there.